A boy sits on a bed. I was bullied a lot in school, and I was called names such as Spaz Boy, Seizure Boy, and Shaky Boy. My name is Aiden, and I have epilepsy. Aiden Lehman. Six years ago when I was diagnosed with it, they start off like really bad, like 100 seizures a day okay. and seizures at night too. I've had two surgeries. The electrodes on his head. Both surgeries went well, so I don't have daytime ones anymore. Malika Jalen Lehman. So I've been warned by our epileptologist that he's at risk of passing into sleep due to epilepsy. That's the worst thing a parent can hear. I felt dread every night, which is why I went and looked for, for some kind of warning system or something, I stumbled upon MirHR. MirHR is a, is a Microsoft hackathon project that we've been testing on uh, a few families that involves using wearable devices and on the back end using uh, AI and Microsoft Azure to be able to collect that data, process that data, and then be able to alert a caregiver via a smartphone. Roberto D'Angelo. When we say that something can be done, the first question is what can be done? And doing the research and speaking with doctors, we believe it is possible to reduce the number and severity of seizures. It's not going to be a miracle. It's going to be a tool to help doctors to be better in helping those families. Ricardo Vargas. Our vision is to reduce the amount and severity of seizures in kids with epilepsy. And we are coming together to bring technology to empower families and doctors to identify potential triggers and hopefully with insights and information, figure out a way to reduce the amount and severity of seizures. Aiden lies in bed. Now it's like, put the watch on his arm, set up the phone next to me, and then just off to sleep we go. So all that dread of going to bed at night has kind of alleviated. James As Lehman. we continue to develop and integrate artificial intelligence into healthcare, it's, uh, it's going to afford us a lot of optimism in terms of future treatments for my son. Walking hand in hand. So I'm much more positive about the future than I, I think I have been in a long time. I'm one person, but I know a lot of families using MirHR right now as part of the trial period have the same response that I do. Like this is a game changer. Knowing that I have that support around me, not only from my parents and doctors, it's also from a Microsoft, and that means a lot, that they help develop something that can help kids like me. So just thank you. Microsoft is pushing the limits of AI and accessibility, enabling that transformative change. And I'm very thankful for that. Aiden smiles. To learn more on Microsoft products for accessibility, visit www.microsoft.com accessibility. Microsoft.